Welcome to a hands-on Azure Data Studio video tutorial. My name's Alex, and I'll be your video guide throughout this book. This tutorial dives into Azure Data Studio's extensions marketplace and how to locate and install them onto your system. Extensions can be very useful as they let you extend features and functionality beyond the Azure Data Studio base product, making it a more tailored application to your specific needs. The extension we'll be working with today is our very own Simple Data Flow, inspired by our product ELT Snap. This extension allows you to simply copy a table from one server to another, which can be an awkward and often a time-consuming process. With our extension, this task can now be done in a snap. Now that you know what to expect, let's get hands-on. Whether you're in SQL Server Management Studio or Azure Data Studio, it's not necessarily a straightforward task to copy a table from one server to another, which is often referred to as data flow. They are import and export wizards, but there isn't really an easy way to move a table from one server to another server. That's what this extension is designed to do. Starting at the activity bar on the left-hand side, navigate towards the bottom and click on the extensions tab with the four squares. This is your extensions window. It shows you what extensions you have installed as well as ones Azure Data Studio recommends you install. To find others beyond the installed and recommended, you can use the extensions marketplace search bar. The one we'll be focused on today is called Simple Data Flow. Click on install and ADS will redirect you to the GitHub site that hosts this particular extension. As a side note, native extensions from Microsoft don't require the additional GitHub step but third-party extensions do. When you're on GitHub, you can either download and install the extensions or clone the entire site to see all of the source code associated with it. Today, we're just going to download the VSIX file. Go back to Azure Data Studio and click on the ellipses in our extension sidebar, then click Install from VSIX and select the downloaded file. It's now installed on your system. You can always reference the details page for directions on how to use the extension and contact info if you ever need support. Now let's get ready to use it. Click on the Connections tab to view your list of servers. Since our objective is to copy a table from one server to another, we should first look at the table we want to move. Mine is in a test database within my SRV6 server called DTime. I'll list the contents within it, and as you can see, it's empty but the same table is actually populated on my other server, PC7. After checking its contents and removing the top 1000 filter, we can see this particular table has 86,000 rows. Next, open the extension by clicking F1 to open the command palette and start typing any part of its name. Let's now tell the extension what to do. First, select the source connection of the table we want to copy. Then select the new destination. Next, we'll type in our select statement. The destination schema is the same name, DBO, and the destination table is the same name, DTime. We're also going to truncate the destination table even though it's empty, because we're going to get a command line that's actually reusable, in case I'd like to truncate it in the future. Now we're going to place this command, which will invoke the data flow with a PowerShell script in the terminal window. As you can see, the script is now in the terminal window. The last thing to do is hit enter, and the data flow is now complete. To verify that it was successful, we'll go to the destination table, refresh it by clicking run, take out the top 1000 filter, and the data is now populated. Thanks for tuning in to another hands-on Azure Data Studio book video tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about this extension or the full version of ELT Snap that powers this extension, please visit bitracks.com or email info at bitracks.com.